This is the first in a series of four videos that goes over how to memorize the dermatomes, or the area of skin supplied by nerves from a single spinal root. This video goes over all cervical nerves as well as the first two thoracic nerves to cover the upper extremity and the dorsal head and neck. There are seven cervical vertebrae, but eight cervical nerves. The atlas is the first cervical vertebra, and so the first cervical nerve, C1, exits above the atlas and the second cervical nerve, C2, exits below. The rest of the cervical nerves exit below the vertebrae that comes one before in number. So C3 exits below the second cervical vertebra, the axis, and C4 exits below the third cervical vertebra, and so on. The thoracic and lumbar nerves make more sense, exiting below their respective vertebrae with the numbers equal. It should be noted that there is significant overlap and variability of the dermatomes, which explains the different dermatomal maps you may come across online. I will be using the American Spinal Injury Association's International Standards for this video. I'll start the dermatomes by talking about the only exception, C1, which has no dermatome because it only carries motor fibers. C2 covers most of the dorsal head and can be tested by palpating lateral to the occipital protuberance or behind the ear. C3 covers most of the neck and can be tested in the supraclavicular fossa. C4 covers the upper torso and can be tested on the acromioclavicular joint. C5 through T2 are the six nerves that supply the upper extremity. First, let's draw the left arm in anatomical position, viewed from the ventral side. Draw a line through the middle, which splits at the base of the palm and ends on either side of the middle finger. Next, draw a chevron, an arrow tip shape, in the middle of the arm. It should start proximal to the elbow, inferiorly, and end distal to the elbow, superiorly. Now I will count from C5 going clockwise into the six areas we have created. C5, C6, C7, C8, T1, and T2. C5 and T1 are examined on either side of the antecubital fossa. C5 is lateral, radial, and T1 is medial, ulnar. T2 is examined at the apex of the axilla, the armpit. Next, let's draw the dorsal side of the hand, which mirrors the ventral side. From superior to inferior, these spaces are covered by C6, 7, and 8. To test for sensory deficits, examine the dorsal surface of the thumb, C6, middle finger, C7, and pinky, C8. It should be noted that the actual nerves that supply the hand have more of a funky distribution as compared with the straightforward nature of the dermatomes. Starting on the bottom, the ulnar nerve supplies the entire pinky and the medial half of the ring finger. The radial nerve covers the superior portion of the ventral thumb and the majority of the dorsum of the hand, with a notable exception of the fingertips. The median nerve supplies the rest of the ventral hand and the fingertips of fingers 1, 2, 3, and half of 4. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.